Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to adjust your shutter, aperture, and ISO on a Nikon camera. I'm going to be using a Nikon D3400, but if you've got a recent Nikon DSLR camera, then don't go away, as the controls are much the same. Now, to control shutter, aperture, and ISO, we are going to need to put the camera in the manual mode. This puts you in full creative control of your camera, and it is the mode that the professionals use. In the manual mode, you are going to make some mistakes, but stick with it. Learn from your mistakes, experiment, play, and most importantly, have fun and practice, and you will become a better photographer for it. So let's start by taking a look at the buttons on this Nikon D3400. Now turn the camera on and you should see this display on the LCD screen. If you don't see anything, then press the info button on the top of the camera. Now if you've got one of the newer cameras, you may see this message appearing on the screen. This is because the 18-55 kit lens on this particular camera has to be extended before the camera can be used. To do this, we simply hold down the button on the lens and rotate the zoom to the max and now we are ready to go. Now on the rear of the camera is a wheel that we can adjust using our thumb. This is referred to in the camera manual as the command dial. And we can use this dial to adjust the shutter, aperture and ISO, which are all displayed on the screen. So working left to right, we're gonna start by adjusting the shutter speed, which is the easiest of them all. To adjust the shutter speed, all you do is turn the command dial. When you turn the dial to the right, the shutter speed increases. The fastest shutter speed on the D3400 is one four thousandth of a second. If you dial to the left, the shutter speed decreases and you eventually reach the slowest shutter speed, which on this camera is 30 seconds. Now next is the aperture. This is shown as an F number on the LCD screen. To adjust this, we hold down the aperture button on the top of the camera and once again, turn the command dial. If we dial to the right, we get a larger F number. And if we dial to the left, we get a smaller F number. This allows us to control how wide open the aperture is in the lens. And finally, let's take a look at ISO. Now to change the ISO, simply hold down the function button on the front of the camera, and again, turn the command dial. Dialing to the right for the larger ISO numbers, this will make the camera sensor more sensitive to light. Dial it to the left for the smaller numbers, which will make the camera sensor less sensitive to light. Now with most of the newer Nikon cameras, auto ISO is usually turned on by default. This means that no matter what ISO setting you choose, the camera is likely to override it and select a different ISO. To check for this, look out for ISO A flashing on your LCD screen. To turn this feature off, you simply press the menu button on the back of the camera, select shooting menu, ISO sensitivity settings, and then turn the auto ISO sensitivity control to off. So now you know how to adjust the shutter, aperture, and ISO using the command dial on the back of the Nikon cameras. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And there are plenty of other Nikon tutorial videos on this channel, so take a look out for those. I hope to see you again soon. See ya.